and it gives me great pleasure and personal pride to introduce the Police Commissioner of the City of New York, Dabble William J. Bratton. Good morning, Explorers. Oh, you can do better than that. <laughs> what a way to start the day. Now, why can't you all do that for me? <laughs> We're going to have to work on that, I think. We are all delighted on this stage to be here for this ceremony, for this event, to acknowledge your achievement, your latest achievement as explorers. If you look at the assemblage on the stage, the head of so many of our federal agencies, our state agencies, local police agencies, and the many civilian support groups that are here for you, we are here to honor you. We are here to say to your families, thank you. Thank you for sharing your loved ones, your most loved ones, your children, with us, with our agencies. We are so proud of this program. This is the 20th year that we will have this graduation. We are extraordinarily proud of the Explorer program itself, but mostly the young men and women who participate in it. We thank your families for sharing you with us. And I want to thank especially the men and women of the NYPD and the many agencies that contribute their time, their mentorship, their caring to these young people. And if you would, uh, th those of you, the explorers who participate in this program, could I have a round of applause for the staff that work with you these many weeks this past summer? I think for them it's a, a labor of love, something they look forward to doing, something they look forward to participating in. And I hope that you all have had these past weeks and the many experiences that you've had, the many new friendships that you have made, the many mosquito bites that you have acquired. <laughs> and hopefully it didn't rain as quite as much this year as it did last year. Last year seemed to rain every day up there. That we are so proud of you. We are so proud of your involvement in this very critical program. And we are proud of you in a way that I want to speak to. Proud of you because you are the future of this city and of this state and indeed of this country. You reflect the best of our young people. You reflect caring. You reflect devotion. You reflect civic pride. You reflect pride in your backgrounds, in your family, in your communities. And you are also very, very respectful and honoring of all that the Explorer tradition means to you, to this city, to this state, and to this country. There's a selfish motive on the part of myself as commissioner, the heads of the various agencies that are on this stage in participating in this program. One, we get a great joy out of it. We get a great joy out of giving back. The profession of law enforcement has benefited each of us greatly, as you can see. We are privileged to be the heads of our respective organizations. And we want to give back. And one of the ways we want to give back is by supporting programs like this, by participating, by spending our time in support of it. And I certainly want to thank our many corporate sponsors that allow for the provision of funding to make these programs work. But there's also a selfish motive, if you will. And it is the idea that we hope that with your exposure, to exploring during that period of age 14 to 20, during your exposure to this summer program, that it reinforces your potential interest in becoming a member of the law enforcement community, either at the federal, state, or local effort level. We need you. We want you. We need young men and women of your caliber, of your expertise, of your compassion, of your commitment. You are the best of the best. And we have enjoyed, certainly, I think I can speak on behalf of the many staff members who are here from the respective uh, agencies that work with you over the summer, that we get back a lot from you, even as we try to give more to you. But as you go forward in life, whether you decide to commit to law enforcement or not, I hope you'll look back at this time as a very special time, a time as you mature into adulthood, where for a period of time you had the opportunity to share that experience with so many others like you, young, energetic, looking to the future. And you had the opportunity to share with it 
many who have already had the future that you might seek to have as law enforcement professionals and to see the many benefits of coming into law enforcement, not only to you and your families personally, but the ability to give back, to give back to the society that you are part of. We need the best and brightest in law enforcement, never more than at this time in our history where there is so much unfortunate mistrust in police. The way we regain that trust is with you. You from the community, you from the many diverse communities that make up this great city, this great region, this great country. Working together, there's nothing that we cannot do and accomplish. And we need to work together. And that's what exploring is all about. You saw in those exercises that you went through these three weeks away, how important it was to function as a team, to celebrate your individual skills and accomplishments, and we will acknowledge some of those on the stage here this morning, but collaboratively, that you are much stronger when you work. If you think of the hand, each finger has a very critical role to play in the hand, but the hand is the strongest when it works together when it works in collaboration with each finger with each other. And that's how it is with you. Strong on your own, but even stronger when we work together. And that's what exploring is all about. That's what law enforcement is all about. And that's what this great American democracy is all about. All of us working together for the common good. Pleasure to be here with you this morning. Enjoy this morning, have fun, and families, celebrate the accomplishment of your young men and women, your children, and thank you once again for sharing them with us and helping to enliven our summer. All the best to all of you.